Bruton's tyrosine kinase inhibitors, BTKIs, a type of treatment for certain B cell malignancies, bind to the BTK protein to block BTK activity. This inhibits B cell receptor signaling, ultimately resulting in reduced B cell proliferation. Over the course of treatment with BTKIs, mutations in BTK may emerge. In fact, BTK mutations are found in about 65% to 80% of relapsed patients at the time of disease progression. These mutations may be associated with resistance to BTKIs based on preclinical data. However, detection of BTK mutations doesn't necessarily require changes in treatment in the absence of disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. BTK mutations can be classified as kinase proficient or kinase dead based on BTK enzymatic activity compared to wild type BTK. Kinase proficient mutations in the kinase domain of BTK occur due to amino acid alterations that are introduced. The amino acid change partially impairs the ability of BTKIs to bind to the BTK protein at their binding site. With a kinase proficient mutation, the enzymatic activity of BTK can be normal or decreased compared with the wild-type BTK. In this state, BTKIs can still inhibit B cell proliferation, albeit at a reduced capacity due to reduced binding affinity of the BTKI to BTK. In the case of kinase dead mutations, a mutation in the kinase domain of BTK causes an amino acid change, similar to kinase proficient mutations this prevents BTKIs from binding to BTK. Kinase dead mutations also disable BTK enzymatic activity, meaning that BTK is unable to send signals to other proteins. Despite this, B cell receptor signaling remains active by circumventing BTK, which induces B cell proliferation. In this bypassing mechanism, other kinases are recruited as an alternative pathway allowing B-cell receptor signaling to continue without BTK activity. Once B-cell receptor signaling bypasses BTK, it may no longer be a viable target for controlling B-cell proliferation.